Hey everybody, I'm going to be doing a video on this pack of booster cables. Now, there's going to be some of you guys, you already got it, you already know it, you already know all about it, and if you want to post below, go ahead. But don't belittle anybody who don't know what I'm about to show. Because this is real important, there's a lot of newbies, there's a lot of people who buy a Harbor Freight solar panel kit. And then the next thing you know, they got 10,000 watts on their house. It's a moment to learn. So, let's go ahead, we're going to take a look at what we got here. I'm in here babysitting my little new pup. She's been with us for a while, but let's go take a look. All right, guys. Y'all look at this right here. You seen that picture in the beginning of the video, the stamp, whatever the hell you want to call it, thumbnail. Um, I'm bringing y'all something really special. Now, right here is a set of booster cables. Four gauge, bonded wire. You know, that means two strands stuck together. And it is 20 foot of four gauge for $20. Now, it says it's got 300 amp capacity. Now, we're running into problems with that because we just got back from putting a guy's house out or shop, sorry, shop building. And um, garage, I guess you'd call it. And the only thing that these cables don't come with is uh, the truth. But... I want y'all to know something, that if a product like this has got a UL listing, that's kind of a permanent install or appliance item, uh, which these are not. And the second thing is, is it's designed to meet or exceed SAE standards. And I'm going to call total bogus on that. Now, there's terms that you need to know, terms that my friend's friend did not know. His name is uh, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, it's about you. Hope you're not still smoldering. Um, these are terms you should know. Copper clad aluminum, luma coat, temp, load, rated. European, sometimes in America, pretty common in some places. Copper clad aluminum is aluminum wire that's annealed, soft, um, and it has a very microscopic thin coat of copper on it. It's called Look at Me Copper. It's not real copper. And it's actually made generally for speaker wires because it aluminum, uh, copper coated aluminum and speaker wire works really nice. So let me get the box out of the way and I'm going to pull these wires up here. Now, before you go too far in the video and get pissy, I want to show you something here. Now, this is real copper. You see that? That's very real. And if you guys are going to put in wind and solar stuff or any kind of big DC amperage, you have to get this. Don't be stupid. Don't do what this guy I'm going to explain did. And this is Timco, Easy Flex. This stuff can get up to like 300 degrees and not catch fire. That's the smart thing. Look under the video. I'm going to put you a link to where to get Timco at the best prices because I don't want you guys to do what this clown did. Jerry, I'm calling you a clown like I did over there this morning. So he has thought he was going to run yeah, I told him he had to have 4 gauge 1000 watt panel, you know, 4 gauge and he says uh, great, and I said well 4 gauge is good for 105 amps and he figured he's going to buy him some of this stuff because it claimed 300 amps, now look guys, I don't want y'all to make mistakes I don't want somebody doing something and calling me up on, or leaving a post going, man I burnt my boat down you can do that, believe it or not, to the water line. So gather your friends. I told my buddy Tater Salad to come on by. We're going to talk about this right here. He didn't want to show up. So here's the deal. Nowhere on this wire can you visibly easily see where it says copper clad aluminum. It's very difficult, actually. If you look, you might be able to kind of feel a little bumpies on there somewhere. And if you're real careful... You might see some faded lettering in there somewhere. I'm not seeing crap. It's supposed to be posted every so many inches. However, this Vietnam-made product decided they couldn't sell much of it if they let you see what this is. Now, I, I took Ultra Black, put it on my finger. Look, there's my finger. And root my perfectly good Swisher Sweet finger. I mean, I could almost taste them things on my finger. So, now... You look at this. Look what it says. Four alt wire. Okay, that's a gauge standard. 
stranded standard right there and all that jazz. Now, 300 amp. This is almost like some ass clown in Missouri is selling you this wire. It made in Vietnam, why not? So 300 amp, and it's 4 gauge. All right, so let's go through the quick education right quick. This is 85 amps, and it's 6 gauge. But it's real copper. Nope. Ooh, get the blur out of there. Real copper. Hope you can see that. Real copper. This is not. This is 94.7% based on the standards used in Vietnam, because I looked it up. That's their 94.7 is actually what their balance ratio is. And it is copper clad aluminum. Now, you might not understand what that means, but that is kind of like chrome plating. So if you think about chrome on the bumper, your bumper on your old 64 car is not made of chrome. It's plated like a paint job, but it's electronically applied. So the deal is, is that this stuff here, let me get one of them and look in it right quick. See if I can see it. I don't know that it won't look too easy to see. I'll cut it too short. Look in this one here. There we go. Now you see that down in there? Now when they cut it, they'll smear some of that copper over. But I want you to look. You see that silver shiny aluminum color? It's that color because it's, well, it's silver and it's shiny and it's aluminum. It's not copper. Copper carries 100% of its duty rating. Aluminum is 63%. Now, duty rating means at one hour of maximum load, it will carry. If this wire reaches 185 degrees, it starts to smolder, this, this jacket, the plastic that's on it. This over here can probably burst into flames exceeding 450, 450 degrees. Now, that's the reason I put the link below the video, because as you can see here, I am proud of Temco. Because every big job I do, I use this. Look at these rolls. Now, yes, you're going to have to give up a couple of cheeseburgers and a couple of Slitz malt liquor lights to buy the real wire. But compared to the fact that we just expelled four more fire extinguishers into the attic of his carport or garage, his garage, this evening, because the fire department couldn't come back in 15 degree temperature, um... This is not the smart move. Now, Walmart should not only be ashamed of themselves, but ought to meet some people in the courthouse over this. They don't have it on the box. It should say copper clad aluminum on the box. Now, my boy, that kid right there, with way better vision than me, because I weld a lot. But don't worry, he'll go blind too. He's welds. Um... He looked all over that box, and we looked all over this supplied safety tag. There is no CCA mention, and until you take and rub some kind of carbon black or something into this, I mean, you can't even feel them bumps. There's hardly nothing there. You don't know this is copper clad. And it says down to negative 40 here. Over here it says negative 25. But I want you guys... I, I value the people who watch my videos. I value the people who see me wire stuff right. Look at all them inverters, okay? I value that because I want you guys to be able to do this on your own, all right? We try to get sponsor money for these kids in schooling. That's why I put the link for this stuff. This is that August and Foods. Kids won't do a video on it. We like it, actually. It tastes a lot better than wise. So, but I don't want my viewers to get in trouble like this. Silly enough, Jerry never looked at my videos. He thought he was getting a twenty dollar deal for some bonded four gauge wire. My God, three hundred amp! Hell, he could have ran his church through it. He's a deacon, but you know, I just want you guys to be safe. So when you see wire like this, look at the link below. Get the right stuff. I mean, really. And there's a hell of a lot of listings on eBay, and they're going to tell you hundred percent pure copper. Man, be careful. I know Temco is. Been using them for 21 years. But this stuff, it's good jumper cables. Going behind the seat. Never leave them never leave them permanently hooked up. And if you're gonna put this in something with a continuous draw, keep a fire extinguisher nearby. You're gonna need it. Alright guys, y'all be good.